okay in this footage I will try to demonstrate the use of a repo connected to a uh, to a client application running in the browser uh, the use of such a REPL to isolate a bug. So let's uh, start. L uh, let's move in the uh, proper folder. I have two folders here tutorial client and tutorial service. I just created t uh, two new uh, uh, two brand new projects uh, with pedestal uh, um, uh, with the latest version in order to have the support for the REPL but I copied the code from the tag 2.1.1 .1 uh, of the pedestal tutorial in order to have the same application so now I move to the service folder and I just launch the server here it is I open another terminal and I move to the client folder and I launch the REPL like this it's gonna take a while here we are so now I can launch the uh, developing application okay and now I can launch the closure script REPL okay so I, mm, as a first step, I open the Chrome browser and I load this address. It was already here because I've, I've experimented with this thing. Okay, here is our application with our bubbles. I try to hit some bubble. Okay, I scored three points in this window. I make it a little smaller. Now I'm um, I will open a new Chrome window and I will load the same address. And of course I have the same application. I try to hit some bubbles here too. Three five points. So uh, I uh, please try to keep track of what's going on here. We have the first Chrome window where I scored three points. I'm gonna keep it here on the left and the second Chrome window where I scored five points I'm gonna keep it here on the right well it's I was hoping that both scores could be visible like this okay so now as you can see uh, these two windows don't know about each other and this is a first observation of a of a behavior that is probably uh, uh, not completely desirable but we go on and now I'm opening a Firefox window and I load the same address here of course I find the same application and I try to hit some bubbles in the Firefox window too uh, okay seven just to have different numbers as you can see now the second the second Chrome window knows about another client and that has seven points well it's unfortunate that they both have set if okay Okay, so now the second uh, Chrome window uh, has scored nine points and the Firefox window knows about it. On the other, uh, the other way around, the second Chrome window 
knows about the seven points in the Firefox window, as you can see here. Uh, well, this increase in scores that you see happening here, it's uh, well, they happen not because I click, but probably just because I ho hover, I, I move over the bubbles. Yeah, that's enough. I, but as you can, but as you can see, there is some okay coordination between the Firefox window, which is the the last one, the third one, and the second Chrome window, while the first Chrome window keeps knowing nothing about any other client playing the game. Um, so now we move to the first Chrome window like this and try to increase the score. As you can see the Firefox window that was reporting about the second Chrome window until a, a few seconds ago now is reporting about the first Chrome window with the same ID which is supposed to be wrong right as you can see if I increase the point in the first window Firefox reports it but didn't but uh, but it attributed the new score to the old ID to the previous ID right now now if I move to the second Chrome window and I increase the point, I move to uh, 58, Firefox get informed about that 58 and attributes the 58, the 58 score to the second Chrome window without changing the ID. Let's do it again, let's move again to the first window and increase the point again to, to, to 51. As you can see now Firefox reports 51 with the same ID. So I guess it's clear. The information uh, reported by the Firefox window is wrong. Um, and this is the bug that I want to talk about here. So my next step is to I, I want to use a REPL as I said I uh, let's open gedit there I have gedit there I have this file start.cljs it's a slightly modified version of the original file among other things I have this comment section here where I have a few lines that I can copy and paste in the terminal here I am creating a new namespace called debugging and in this namespace I am requiring tutorial client start as start and the protocols as p this is the bare minimum that I deem necessary uh, for this demonstration I'm gonna get some warnings that I don't want to know about uh, in this very moment and uh, as you can see we we got a mm, uh, a new prompt back and we are in this debugging namespace now so in this namespace there's this uh, start namespace that we required and inside that there's a variable called to be monitored app and this is the application the the pedestal application as you can see the structure is quite complex even if I roll the terminal up uh, I don't see the beginning of it so I it's too much um, let's try to see what are the keys of such well let me repeat the same just for laziness uh, let's try to see which are the keys of the live running application it's only two keys app and app model so I can copy this uh, this new line from here and paste it in the terminal in the well for now 
let's only use the app key. I am getting in. I'm getting in the application with the key app, and we know that it has such a key because it's here. And we get a a complex structure even in, even this time. As you can see, there's even there are some slots containing some JavaScript code. Oh. Uh, so just to understand how this app is made, we could try to call keys again on the app. So it has six keys, state, description, data flow, input, output, and app model. We already saw app model at a higher level, but for now I don't, I don't want to investigate about this. Well, I suppose that this input key here corresponds to the input queue of the application. So let's try to see what does happen if I get in the input key inside the app, All right? Like this. I get something back that is a IO pedestal app queue app message queue so yes it's a queue I, I I guess it has to be the Im the input queue it has a structure a state that is an item that has a key queues high low and then there's this item that look it's an it has the first key is IO pedestal app message type and the type is swap and then it has a topic and the topic is other counters with what seems to be an ID and a value. So because I have taken a look uh, at the application framework code, I know that on such on such a an input queue I can call I can call a function, a function called take message. And I'm passing to this function as an argument, the, the whole input queue, and then a second argument that in this case is print ln, a function. Um, it returns what seems to be a serial number now, uh, now let's get back to the, let's say to the, well, as you can see, I caused an increase, uh, I caused an increase in the score of the second, probably, no, of the first, I don't know, well, uh, anyway, a message was taken by take message and printed because I passed print ln to take message and the message is swap topic other counters with this ID which is the uh, which is the ID that uh, Firefox is showing as you can see it's 203 AEE45 and then a value 59. Um, I guess I can uh, explain why we got such a message. Uh, um, I if we ask, excuse me, if we repeat the call to take message, okay. Now we are starting here from 73, right? I increase to 76, but the message I get uh, in the terminal reports value 74, which is immediately after 73, right? The thing is that when I increase the p point of more than one, more than one message is generated, but take message here takes only one. So let's try again, take message. If we start from 
78 and I increase to 80, the message is going to be 79, right? Because only the first one is being intercepted here. Now, uh, it would be nice to see them all, but I can make my point even with uh, one only message. My point is that if this message is coming from the server and it is attributing uh, the score in points 79 to to this to this um, other client, and in fact, this is what uh, Firefox reports. And this information uh, my, is wrong because if I do the thing again and I increase the first, uh, right, the first window, uh, I get a, a totally different value than before, but the ID is equal. So the bug that I've showed. I, in my first hypothesis, it was originated inside the client that was not correctly processing the messages from the server. But, but here it's, it seems that messages coming from the server contain wrong information. So probably this is to be looked inside the server uh, code and not the client one. Well, anyway, th there might be bugs even in the client, but we know for sure that the server is sending the same ID even when the the score increase is generated by different clients. And this is not correct anyway. Okay, so I guess I showed the use of a REPL in debugging a, an application running client side. Uh, there would be mm, several other things to say, uh, but for now uh, um, I call it I call it quits.